Hi, welcome back to my channel. How are you doing today? I'm Tina. I hope you are doing well. And today I'm going to be creating some fun planner pages. Now I got inspired to create these pages from looking through the sticker book Posh Fall from Live Love Posh and uh, the sticker book, Fall Memories from Amber Plans Her Day. So what I'm going to do is I am going to create a couple of fun pages to track the football season. All right, first off, I am not a football person, all right? I will watch it on occasion with my husband, but my husband does love watching football, and that's his thing. Like, every Sunday, he wants to be sure to watch the football game for the day, or if it's on Monday or Thursday, whatever day they decide to um, play based on their schedule. So I like to put those um, like dates and times in my planner generally. I will put them in there so that way I can kind of plan around that. But I don't know, I was flipping through these sticker books and then I got inspired because, I'm gonna flip right to this page here. I saw these stickers, which are orange and like a, like a blue navy floral. And I got, oh, I didn't mark this one, let's see. And then I saw these stickers that Amber included in her sticker book. All right, here it is. So I already pulled some of these stickers, but look at, she has a football page. And I'm like, okay, I'm never gonna use these stickers. Like I don't really do football, you know. But then I thought, you know what? How cute would it be for me to like put the schedule all together and make some cute pages? So um, for those of you that are football fans, you know, just a little bit of an idea for you if you wanna create some fun pages in your planner and the colors match the color of our team. I'm from Chicago, so yes, the Chicago Bears, all right? and I kid you not, the minute I opened this up, I was like, oh my gosh, this so reminds me of Bear's Colors. And then once I saw this book, I'm like, oh, okay, that's going to be really cute. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to put these pages together. I'm going to leave these open and I'm going to leave these to the side and I'm going to show you what I am going to do here. I'm also going to show you a little bit of a hack on how you can create your own colorful boxes also. All right. So if, um, you are a returning viewer. Thank you so much for coming back and joining me in another video. And if you're new here, welcome. I hope you have a good time here with me today. I'm really excited to do this. I love getting crafty. I did do some prep work to get ready for this so that way I wouldn't take up like so much time. I'm going to create um, like this where it's going to open up. So in order to do that, you're going to need to slice off one of the sheets you need to slice off the punched side there. So it's about, I don't know, maybe about a half an inch off. Just eyeball it, it doesn't have to be exact. Then what I wanna do is I want to put these two pages together to create like this booklet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip this this way because I'm gonna use some washi. And since the um, if you want it to like, it really depends on how you want it to open up. I want mine to be in my planner like this with my page like this and then open up this way, all right? So that means I need to put the washi here. So I'm gonna open these pages up like this so that way you can see exactly how I do this. And I've got this washi, I thought this was perfect, this navy washi. I like the way this type of washi looks with florals also. It's just kind of like very complimentary. It's like stripes and florals. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run this washi and you wanna get like a decent size washi because you want it to like hold it together. Um, line it up and Try not to have any kind of gap in here. So you wanna bring them in like, so they're really bumped close together there. And just bring your washi down here. Putting these pages together, um, this is another great way to create like bucket lists, um, to have like more pages just connected to do that. So. 
just another little idea for you or some memory pages or anything like that. That's always fun. All right, so now they are connected. So I'm going to, first of all, I'm gonna like really kind of press on that and make sure that's on there really good. And then I'm going to flip it back and I'm going to bend it. All right, so there you go. Now I have used like skinnier washi before and it works, but you kind of need to like reinforce it a little bit. Or you could also add like a washi strip to this side. I think what I'm going to do though, is I think I'm gonna leave it like this. And then some of the stickers that I put in here, like these floral ones, will help just kind of reinforce it on this side. Okay, so let's work on the cover page first. So I already pulled some stickers that I wanted to use. So let me show you what I did here. And then I'm also going to show you how I created um, colorful boxes. So I grabbed Happy Planner. Um, they're letter st um, stickers. They're larger. They come in like the larger pack. And I don't think I have them handy to show you. Um, but yeah, I love these stickers. I really like them. They're all in lowercase and it works out really well. And then these were a couple of the stickers that I grabbed that um, were on this sheet right here from Amber Plans Her Day. And again, that's her Fall Memories sticker book. Not sure if either of these sticker books from either of these shops are still available, but I will link their shop information down below. So if you wanted to pick those up, you could do that. I don't have like a discount or I'm not an affiliate. I just, they're like some of my favorite shops. I just really, really love them. So I thought that this would be really cute. So I think I'm going to start by laying down the schedule first. Now, these kind of all connect together. So if you pick them up at this end, providing you didn't have to like cut them at all, it should all like pick up together. See the way that worked out? So now, I think what I'm gonna do is, I think I'm gonna lay this because it's kind of like not laying as flat. It'll be fine once I get it in the planner, but just for this purpose, I think. I think I'm gonna do it like that. And I never lay anything completely down, like flatten it until I'm really sure. Now this one's gonna kind of fall apart a little bit because I cut the A, cause it was kind of weird. So it's kind of like in two pieces here, but that's okay. So I'm going to hopefully lay this down like centered so I don't have to pick it up. Cause I hate having to pick up stickers. It's like, I mean, I do it, I do it often, but I really hate having to do it. So I think that that's good. All right, and then I thought this was cute. The guy, and the guy, the football player, <laughs> the guy. And I thought that that would be kind of cute, just like right in the center under here. But you know what, before I lay this down, I think what I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna add some florals because I think I want the florals to kind of be um, at the bottom. So if I decide to layer anything above it, then it's going to um, just kind of lay like right on top of the florals instead of me having to pick things up. Okay, so I'm notorious for just pulling pages out of my book. I don't care, like I like things when they're super functional for me, so um, that's what I do. I've recently discovered actually that some people are a little bit particular about pulling their pages out of their sticker books, but I don't know, not me, I'm not that particular. I can be particular about certain things, but that is not one of them, but hey, if that's you, then, you know, you do you, boo. All right, so I am going to turn this around because it's just way easier for me to see, and as much as I love these stickers, they are very thin, and they do tend to, like, if they don't lay down straight, they're a little bit trickier to pull back up, and then they're just harder to work with. So I'm just kind of, like, lining this up, bumping this up, and centering this as best that I can here, and... I think that that's really cute. I love that I'm adding florals to these football schedule pages. How funny is that, right? My husband's gonna crack up when he sees this. He's gonna come home and be like, look, look what I did. Cause I'm always showing him like different things and he's always like, oh, that's pretty babe. You know, he's so cute. He's so sweet. 
like look at the like the spreads that I make because like there's nobody else around right who am I going to share them with so he gets to listen to me like talk about pretty stickers and things which is kind of funny but he's a musician so I get to listen to him talk about music stuff that sometimes I'm like what because he's talking to me about like technical stuff and I'm just like wait okay I, I don't know what you mean but I'll just nod I'll just nod and smile. I'll just nod and smile and look pretty. <laughs> All right, so I think that that's kind of cute. But now I want to kind of like sort of balance it over here. But there's really not um, one that will fit in here without it going like another way. So I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm just going to grab one of these and just kind of put that in here. And it's really not going to be like mirrored. Or but it will be balanced and I think that that's important to me but I'm going to put this underneath here because I don't want it to stick to this paper here so let's see how do I want to do this I kind of want to have Yeah, like most of it. There we go. Now, do I like that or is that kind of weird? It looks kind of weird because it's like not exactly like, it's kind of weird. So, you know what? Oh, and of course I pressed that down. Why did I press that down? Oh, no. See, that's why you don't press things down. <laughs> The one thing that I told you like not to do, I just went ahead and did, but I think I'm gonna be okay. Ever so gingerly pulling it off. We shall see. Okay, yay. All right, good. Phew, okay. So let me just put this right here because I did not like that. It looked kind of weird. I almost feel like I'm okay with it being a little bit um, off, if that makes sense. Oh yeah, that that's cute. That's cute. So it's kind of like wraps around. Let's see. And I'm just gonna trim off the excess here. Yeah, I think I'm good with that. I think I can live with that. And then where is my football dude? I still want him like in the middle. I don't know, it just to me it seems like that's where he should be. I put him there and he looks like off center. He really looks off center. So let's Oh no. Ah. Oh, wow, these guys really stick to this paper. I'm thinking maybe it's the paper though. I think because I've pulled stickers off of like Happy Planner paper before, but I feel like some of the Happy Planner paper is different from some of the other. Like, let me know what you think. Like, have you found that? I feel like that's something that I, I like, I feel it. You know what I mean? Okay, I think that's better. I think he's a little bit more centered. Okay, so that is good enough for my cover page. It's really cute. Maybe I want to add... Maybe do I want to add a couple footballs in here? I think that's good because that just kind of fills the space. All right, let's talk about this main section here. All right, so what I thought was is that I wanted to have a colorful box for each game. And within the colorful box, I was gonna put the date, the time the game is playing, because those are the two important things for me. Then I figured since I'm doing this, I'm gonna add like the team that they are playing against, and then I'll put whether the Bears won or lost, okay? So those are the things that I want to put in to the boxes. So as I started to look for colorful boxes, cause I wanted to stick with just like the orange and the navy or blue and I thought, you know what, that's, I, I don't have enough. Like, I'm not gonna have enough to do what I wanna do for this. And 
um, like I need 17. There's 17 games in the season. So I need 17 colorful boxes. So what I decided to do is make my own colorful boxes. The way I went about doing that is that I love having Avery full size sticker sheets. Uh, they're just so universal. I use them all of the time. And as I cut them down, I'll have like scraps and things like that, which I keep in a book. That way I could pull them out and you know, I, I'm using like every bit of the page, okay? So I had quite a few of these like strips that I had cut down previously. So these were actually really good size like this way. So all I did was I took my ruler here and I'm not sure how like big this ruler actually is, but I realized that this was going to be a perfect size. So all I did was I went ahead and measured these out really quickly drew the lines in here and just created the boxes, okay? And that's what I did. Here, let me move this so that way you could see it a little bit better. So that's what I went ahead and did. And then all I did was take my um, marker. These are my, um, these are Pentel Touch. I have them in, I have them in the colors that I needed. And then I just went ahead and outlined them. Okay, I just freehanded it. And let me put something underneath here because I definitely don't want it to get on my tabletop. And I just went ahead. I mean, they're not like perfect, but it, is like perfect for what I wanted to do. And that's how I went ahead and created these. Then I just went ahead and cut them out. And then I had colorful boxes. See, super, super simple. It did take me a little bit, but I didn't have to buy anything additional. I was able to use what I already had in my stash so that worked out perfectly for me so I wanted to make sure that I shared that little tip with you you know you could use any markers or mild liners or whatever you have to create some extra colorful boxes especially if you're looking for something in a particular color or like a larger quantity and I honestly I didn't feel like flipping through all of my books looking for the boxes like that many boxes because that was a lot like 17 of them I'm like oh my gosh so what I did was I went ahead and prepped the boxes to get ready to go ahead and stick down. And what I mean by prepping it is that I went ahead and I took all of the like backing off of the stickers already, right? Cause they're like these kinds of sticker paper, you gotta take the backing off, right? Um, and I went ahead and prepped them and put them onto a blank sticker page. That's another great reason why you want to hold on to any blank sticker pages. It's always just a great way for you to like put stickers that you need to collect for a spread or anything like that, or like a project like this. So here are all of my colorful boxes that I'm going to use. Now, are they the best and prettiest? No, but you know what? I am okay with that. So I thought it would be fun to kind of like, and I'm not even sure how many I have here. Let's see, two, four, six, eight, 14, 16, I have 18, so I can, take one off because I don't want to get confused and lay them all down while I'm like doing this. So I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to lay down some florals and then that way I can put the boxes down and then I'll lay some of like the football elements as I see. So these are going to take up like a lot of space. So I thought maybe just like framing the um, pages with these florals might be really pretty. So I'm gonna actually tear this sheet out too because I'm gonna use this big one. I think I'm gonna just use that right across the top just to kind of reinforce the pages would also be nice too. So this is like a really good sticker for that. And the stickers do fold nicely. And then once you put them in your planner, it's just like not a problem at all. So yeah, I can't believe these stickers, they're like perfect for what I wanna use them for. But now, all right, is that gonna be a little redundant in the middle there? Should I put it down here? And maybe a smaller one? Yeah, I'll do that. I'll put a bigger, I'll put this one here. Now the pages are off 
ever so slightly, like probably a millimeter, but that is fine. Fine with me. And then I'm gonna put, I'll put like a smaller bunch up at the top. So there we go. All right, so I'm just gonna kind of like frame out these pages and that way they'll just be ready to lay the boxes. So I think this is going to be really cute. So funny. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm going to be so excited to show these to him. He's probably be like, what are you doing with my football season? <laughs> Let me know. Are you a football fan? Do you watch football? I mean, I'll get into the game if I watch it, but I don't know. Like, we don't have the best team, so I just get frustrated. I'm like, why? Why are you doing that? So I think that's another reason why I don't really like to watch them. Maybe if we had, a, like, a better team. <laughs> I'm just like, ah, oh. I get so frustrated. Okay, I think that that's cute. Cute. I just keep closing it to make sure that they're not peeking through on the other side there. Um, I could actually add, I could actually add some washi there and then punch it. That would actually be pretty cute, I think, right? Ooh, I like it. Okay, let me do that. Probably should have thought about that before, but that's okay. I'm just, honestly, I didn't really have like a specific plan on how I wanted to do this. Usually when I do decorative planning, I really think it out and, but I'm just kind of flying by the seat of my pants with this one, as you can see. And then I will punch that. Oh, that'll be cute. I like it. I like it. Maybe I'll do like an orange strip there. Cause now, this looks uneven, you see? Hmm, so I think what I'm gonna do is, I think I'm going to narrow that down because I don't like it when it's uneven. See how this is thicker and then that's narrower? Okay, so I like that. That works for me. It's balanced. Okay, let's finish laying down some more florals to give this like some nice framework. But yeah, I like that. That's kind of cute. But now I almost feel like I need one of these on this side, right? All right, so 
All right, that looks a lot better because now it's more symmetrical here. It's symmetrical here. I That's just like the way my brain works. So I got to go with it, you know? You got to go with what you feel comfortable with. Okay, the next thing I need to do is put some florals here because... I don't have anything in this corner and I don't want it to be too big because see how skinny that is. I like it. It's cute. All right. Now I'm going to stop with the florals because I'm not really sure how I'm going to do these boxes just yet, but I definitely wanted to bring these in here. So let's start doing these. And what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of do them in a playful way. What I mean by that, instead of like laying them like all like this is what is what I was thinking. I'm thinking of like kind of doing like fun diagonals like that, like at an angle. So let's just kind of lay some of these out and see how that plays out. All right, I think that's really cute. Now, I, before I actually like set them down, I think I'm gonna add a few more like little fun elements on these pages to decorate it a little bit more. So I'm gonna go to my washi strip here that I had. I'm not sure how much of it I wanna use, but I think it would be kind of fun maybe to put it in here a little bit. So, let me turn this this way. So I'm thinking like, maybe under there. Not on every one, but just on like a few of them. And then I definitely wanna add some florals in here. So I'm gonna grab, like this smaller bouquet, I think right in the center would be kind of perfect. I almost feel like right here might need something, but I don't know if I want to add all of those florals because I still have my footballs to put in here. So let's add some footballs. Um, oh, what if I added this guy like right here? I wonder if he'll, I wonder if he'll fit. Let's, oh no, he tore. No, see, that's crazy. That means he wasn't cut right or something. I don't know what happened there. Okay. Okay, so let's put him if I can, right here. Oh, yeah, look at how cute that is. All right, I don't know if you wanna call football cute, but I'm going with it. Okay, and then, oh, I wish I had another silhouette to like put kind of on this side. Mm -hmm. What if I snuck this guy like in here? Just to kind of like balance it out a little bit because I don't have another, I don't have another guy. I have the one on the front, but I like him there. So, okay, good. He's gonna come up a lot easier. So I'm thinking. Okay, so now let's go back to adding some more footballs in here. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut these because then we sort of get more stickers that way. Oh, and I like the way that looks. It's cute. 
All right, so the one thing that I do want to do is I want to make use of these that say like football, like the words. And then I also want the football here. Oh, it cut. Why did it cut? I don't know why these stickers are like I didn't cut it there, but like they're a little tricky to get up. So I think it's because I have them in the book. Yeah, that's why I usually take them out. It just works out better that way. Okay, so here's football there, football here. That fits perfectly. And then I kind of want to take this one because I'm not going to really use this sticker, like I already know. If I don't use this sticker here, then I'm not gonna use it. There. Okay. All right, so. Let's put it right there. And then I did wanna use this football because it's a nice looking football and like I said if I don't use it in this spread then I don't know where I would use it all right oh my goodness okay so I went ahead and filled in some of the white spaces over here with some of the florals around the frame area I did fill in the footballs I thought that that was really cute I added in uh the football wording that I cut out of the sticker sheet that was like already in here so that was pretty cool. I was able to grab those. And then I wrote this in, are you ready? And I, th I think it's really cute. So I can fill this in. Like I said, I'm gonna write the date, the time of the game, and then who they're playing against and whether um, they win or, or lose. Okay, I don't know if I'll put in like the final score, but that is my intention for each of these boxes. And there's 17 of them here. 17 games in the football season. I know that they've already played two games, so I obviously have to fill that in, um, you know, with the final results. So let me close it up, and here is the cover page, and look at how cute that is. I did add a couple of these footballs in here. I just cut the footballs in half, and that really just, like, gave me more um, stickers than what I really had to work with. So I think it's really cute, it's really fun, it's playful. And yeah, so I was inspired by these two sticker books, uh, Posh Fall by Live Love Posh, and then Fall Memories from Amber Plans Her Day. And I really, really like the way that this turned out. And this is, it's just something really fun to do um, to create some fun planner pages. Yeah, so I think this is so cute. I really like the way that this turned out. It turned out actually a little bit better than what I thought it was going to be. And like I said, it's just really fun and playful. So I hope you got some ideas for yourself, some just some tips and ideas on how to like create this little like folder looking extension and then how to create some of your very own colorful boxes just with the sticker paper and some markers. It's really easy. So if you are needing some colorful boxes, that's a great way to go ahead and create them for yourself. And yeah, it's really cute. I'm happy with it. So I hope that you like this video. If you like this video, please be sure to hit the like. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe, hit the notification bell when you do, and drop a comment down below. Let me know, are you a football fan? <laughs> Have you ever created a page like this before? Have you ever had like, you know, something fun like this where you just flip it over and have like this little fold out? Um, I would love to know and any tips or tricks that you might have that you wanna pass on to me or anyone else that would be reading the comments. Thank you so much for joining me in today's video. This was a lot of fun and I will see you in the next one. Bye.